Hello everyone. Hi, it's Miss Teresa from the Ridgewood Public Library. Thank you for joining me today for story time. Let's begin with a quick hello. We'll say hello to everyone all at once by clapping our hands. Here we go. Hello everybody. Yes indeed. Yes indeed. Yes indeed. Hello everybody. Yes indeed. Yes indeed my darling. Wonderful! Hi everyone, and I'm going to say hello spring! Spring has sprung! Our trees are starting to show some buds and leaves. Our flowers are starting to bloom and show their beautiful colors. Our grass is getting a little bit greener every day. Our days are a little bit longer and warmer, but sometimes our days in the spring are rainy. We have sunny days and rainy days. And today's stories are about the rain. Our trees and our grass and our flowers all need the rain to grow. So we have to honor the rain sometimes too. Let's begin with a song called Little Raindrops Falling Down. And our rain will start off soft. So we'll rub our hands back and forth as the rain comes down harder, we'll clap our hands like this. And then finally, giant raindrops will be falling and we'll pat our laps or you can stomp your feet. And at the end, we'll have a chance to jump in a big puddle. Okay, here we go. Little raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Little raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Bigger raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Bigger raindrops falling down, falling to the ground. Giant raindrops falling down, falling down, falling down. Giant raindrops falling down, down to the ground. Yay! Now we get a chance to jump in a puddle because that was some pretty heavy rain in that song. And I bet there's a puddle around you. Are you ready to jump? Here we go on the count of three. One, two, three, jump! Woo! Right into a big puddle. That's fun. Okay, let's be, go on to a story now. And our first one is called, Who Likes Rain? by Wong Herbert Yi. And both our books today are about being outside in the rain and they both have some rhyming in them. So let's see what this first story is all about. Pit, pit, pit on the window pane. Down, down, down come drops of rain. Who wants rain? Who needs April showers? I know who. The trees and the flowers. Raindrops falling down in spring. Hit the awning. Ping, ping, ping. When it rains, who's the first to scat? I know, do you? You, you. Do you know a word that rhymes with scat? Sounds like scat. That makes a sound like mew, mew. It's the cat. The cat is running inside the house. Gurgle, gurgle down the gutters, out the spout, the water splutters. Water is coming down the downspout and the girl is watching it. it. Must be raining pretty hard for it to come out that fast. Who likes rain? Not Pop-Up's truck. Who likes rain? Quack, quack. What could that be? 
It's a duck. The duck is flying, maybe away from the rain. Pity put pop, pity pat splat. I catch raindrops in my hat. When it rains, who comes out to squirm? I know, do you? Creep, creep. It's a worm. Raindrops beat like a tom-tom drum on my umbrella. Rum a tum tum. Ooh, that's heavy rain now. Who likes rain? Not my neighbor's dog. The dog is hiding inside its house. Who likes rain? Croak, croak. Do you know what the sound of croak, croak is? It's a frog. Croak or ribbit, ribbit. A wind comes whooshing through the trees. It shakes the raindrops from the trees. And that wind blew her umbrella away. Who likes rain? It jumps with a splish. I know. Do you? Glub, glub. What rhymes with splish? It's a fish. After a while, the showers stop. A few last drops fall. Plip, plip, plop. Clouds break up. No need to huddle. All that's left is... One big puddle. Who likes rain even more than a duck? More than a frog in the muckety muck. Who needs rain besides trees and flowers? Who wants a day with April showers? Any guesses? What do you think? Off comes the raincoat. Boots and hat. Who likes rain? I do. Curse splat. Yay. That little girl had a fun day in the rain, discovering lots of things and animals outside who need and love the rain as much as she does. Okay, let's try a little home now called five umbrellas can you count to five with me let's go one two three four five do you don't see anything different about one of our umbrellas this one in the middle it's not up all our other rain our umbrellas are up but this one is closed. Okay, let's get on to our poem now. Five umbrellas stood by the door. Riley took the pink one and then there were four. Let's count to four. One, two, three, Four. Four umbrellas, pretty as can be, then took the blue one. And then there were three. One, two, three. Three umbrellas with nothing to do. Ollie took the green one. And then there were two one two two umbrellas having lots of fun susan took the yellow one and then there was one one umbrella alone in the hall 
Mary took the purple one. And that was all. Now, if it's still raining outside, what should Mary do with her umbrella? She should go whoop and push it up so she can stay nice and dry in the rain. But if it's not raining anymore, Mary might need, not need her umbrella. Is it raining by you? If it is, what do you need? You need your umbrella and boots and hat and raincoat to keep you dry. Okay, ready for one more story? And this one is called Raindrop Plop. There's lots of counting to do in this book. In fact, we count all the way up to 10 and then we go 10 down to one. And this one is by Wendy Shiat Lewison. This one is also about a little girl and the rain. One little raindrop, dark, dark sky. Two little raindrops, clouds go by. Three little raindrops, splat, splat, splat. Four little raindrops, boots and hat. Five little raindrops, shiny red coat. Bird is watching her and her dog is with her. Here's a big worm. little raindrops bright blue boat oh that little person doesn't mind if they get a little bit more rain right they're on their boat in their pool seven little raindrops plop in a cup oh the tea party may need to end soon if the rain gets harder and harder Eight little raindrops, umbrella up, right? Time for that umbrella to go up. Nine little raindrops, puddle fun. The girl and her dog are jumping in puddles. Ten little raindrops, still no sun. Too many raindrops, run, run, run. Time to go inside. Back in the house now, that is that. Off with the raincoat, off with the hat. Ten little toes in a nice warm tub. Nine soapy bubbles, scrub-a-dub-dub. Eight fluffy towels, soft and white. Seven brass buttons, shiny bright. Oh, she's getting her cozy pajamas on now. Six tiny marshmallows, Float in a cup, mmm, yummy. Five small pretzels, gobble them up. Let's count to five. See the pretzels on the plate here? One, two, three, four, five. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, who wants a treat? Her doggy really wants something too. Four furry squirrels want something to eat. Three hungry birds, tweet, tweet, tweet. Let me count to three. One, two, three. Two bright eyes. 
What do they see? Birds see their food. The squirrels are looking for a treat too. Out of the window, out by the tree. And if you look very closely, the dog is getting one last pretzel that the little girl left on her plate. Raindrops stopping one by one. No more raindrops. Sun, sun, sun. Yay. This little girl had so much fun too, playing in the rain and then going inside and having a nice warm bath and a treat and waiting patiently by the window until the rain stopped. And out came the sun. Hooray! Well, I hope you have a great day today, whether it be a rainy day or a sunny day. And now it's time for our goodbye song. My hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. My feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, 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 I wave my hands and say goodbye. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye, everyone.